Hey everybody, uh, my name is Dave Tag. I'm a lieutenant with the Cedar Hill Fire District, and today we're out at Don Robinson State Park. It's one of the state parks in our uh, fire district, and we're out here doing a little talk in the fall. It's beautiful weather, great time to be out hiking, and it's a great opportunity for us to talk to you a little bit about our Safe Trails initiative. Uh, what our Safe Trails initiative is, is something that we came up with in conjunction with the Missouri uh, State Parks, and also uh, funded by the Jefferson Foundation. Um, we came up with an a initiative, uh, the Safe Trails Initiative was brought to us because we had a lot of people that came out and wanted to enjoy the park and would end up getting lost or get off the trail. And we kind of had a hard time trying to coordinate with these people as to what they should do and what to expect from us in the fire department. So a couple of things that we'd like to bring to you um, is just the real quick acronym of SAFE. Um, and this doesn't just work with us or in our state park, but it's good information to have wherever you may spend your time in the outdoors. So we have a Safe Trails Initiative pamphlet. It's filled with all sorts of information uh, as far as being prepared, what SAFE stands for, and how to use both Apple and Android phones to mark your location and be able to communicate that to rescuers. So, the first thing I want to talk about is being prepared. You need to know what kind of terrain and what kind of weather to expect, depending on what time of year it is. If you're out in the summertime, obviously, you're going to bring lots of water, wear clothing that's going to keep you nice and cool, and possibly sunscreen, things along those lines. If it's getting into the fall like it is right now, it has a potential of being very warm during the daytime, but if you're taking a long hike in the evening, you could end up outdoors off on the trail uh, whenever it's getting dark and the temperatures are getting cooler. So it's important to understand how long you plan on being out there. And it's important to understand what kind of problems you can face. Um, the acronym SAFE came up um, kind of out of a necessity, like I said, for people getting lost. As you see here on the center of our, our brochure, S is for stop. The first thing you want to do is if you have a problem, no matter if it's big or small, the best thing to do is stop. Stop and figure it out. Um, if it's something that you identify, something that, oh, we might have a problem here, but you continue down the trail, it's something that you can get even further into trouble with. The first thing, the most important thing is stop. Until you can identify what the issue is, just stop. The second thing is acknowledge. You want to acknowledge what the issue is. What is it that's causing you problems? Is it an injury? Is it a uh, possible wrong turn that you took and you're off on a, a deer trail instead of the main walking trail. There's a lot of different things that could come up as a problem or as a surprise. It's important to identify those quickly and from there you can figure out which way you need to go. The F stands for fix it. Fix it yourself. If it's something you can do on your own, then by all means, take care of it and continue on your way. Enjoy the day that you have out here. Um, if it's something that requires assistance, then be able to identify what those issues are and be able to understand how to, like the E says, employ assistance. So if it's something that you can fix on your own, if it's a, a blister or maybe you, you twisted your ankle or something simple like that, it's something you can get out with help of yourself or your friends, the people in your group, then by all means do that. When in doubt, or if you need extra assistance, please call us. That's what we're here for. Um, some of the other things that are important to know whenever it comes to being prepared to be on the trail, make sure you have your phone with you and make sure that it's fully charged. Another thing is understand how to find your location, either using a park map or on the GPS, either on your phone or a, a external GPS device. Um, another important thing is have a first aid kit. Maybe you won't need it, but maybe you'll come across somebody who does. Um, another thing is always tell somebody where you're going. Whether it's a day hike or whether it's a long trip, it's always important for people to know where you're going and when to expect you back. If uh, you were to get lost and nobody knows where you're at, we really have no basis on where to start looking for you. So anyways, these are a few things that we have as far as our safe trails, 
If you're in the Cedar Hill or surrounding area, please come out and visit us at one of our firehouses. We've got brochures and we've got handouts as well uh, with some bags and some water bottles while supplies last. So please come on out, come pay us a visit, and do yourself a favor. Come out and enjoy the beautiful weather. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.